Main man, made man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. So there's news out. They're saying that um, in the upcoming fight between Showtime Sean Porter and Jordanus Ugas, that Keith One Time Thurman will be commentating. Now we all know Keith got skills in the mic when he calling fights. That's one thing you got to give him, man. He breaks down fights very methodically. He has a very good boxing mind. He he communicates himself well, you know, to the fans or whatever when he's calling fights. And it's always cool to see Keith Thurman commentating fights. I will admit. The thing also that the new that this particular article that's on boxing scene was talking about that I found that stood out to me was the fact that Fox Sports, whom, you know, is in a deal with PBC, they have designs on a fight later on this year between Keith One Time Thurman and Showtime Sean Porter, or should I say a rematch? Or perhaps Keith Thurman getting the winner of this fight to go after that WBC title. And they have what's called, air quotes, designs on that particular fight. And so this kind of makes me think, right? Because I was just talking about this in last night's live stream. And we were talking about how Showtime Sean Porter, in order to redeem himself, he needs to step to Earl Spence Jr., the man who stepped to him and took a lot of air up out of his sails. And there were some folks in my comment section and people were talking about that. I haven't seen this interview yet that Sean Porter is giving an interview saying that he'll be at the Earl Spence Jr. and Mikey Garcia fight. Said he'll be there. So a lot of people are speculating that maybe he'll come up in the ring and maybe challenge Earl Spence Jr. to his face the same way Earl did him. But the one thing that I that stands out to me, like I said, is that they're saying that they have designs on this fight like it's already in the cards. And this kind of re reminds me of what Sean Porter and Kenny Porter have been saying for a while now. A lot of people turn deaf ears to it because we want because what we want what we want. And that's for Sean Porter to face Earl Spence Jr. But they've been saying, I know I've heard Kenny Porter say on numerous occasions that they've approached the powers that be about this particular fight. They've went to the ones, the, 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 the makers, the people that can make this fight happen. And they were told that Earl Spence Jr. basically has other things to do. He's going to be fighting other opponents. They're going to be putting him on pay-per-view, basically the plan with Mikey Garcia. And so they told Sean Porter, no, not right now. And so a lot of fans have not seen this publicly. And we assume, given the actions of Earl Spence Jr., given the way that Sean Porter's been talking about mandatories and maybe two mandatories and all of these putting seemingly like obstacles up above this fight, that we ain't really been listening to that. But when I hear stuff like Fox has designs for this fight, like, forget what the fans are talking about. Bringing Keith Thurman on the commentators already is, there, is as if they're already leaning in that direction no matter what. It makes me say, is there some validity to what they were saying, man? Kenny Porter and Sean Porter. Because it's already being done. And this is before Earl Spence Jr. even gets through the Mikey Garcia fight. Now, I'm not saying that but then again, if Sean Porter wanted to come back this summer and him and Earl could do it this summer and then maybe after that Keith Thurman, but I just don't see that happening, man. That That's something I don't see happening. I just don't. If that's the case, you know, you like I said before last night, I'm happy for Earl because he deserves it. I, I got respect for duck fighters. But you want, you know, you got to keep it 100, man, and you got to remember Errol Spence Jr. was paid very well for some of his lower level fights. He was. Fights against Peterson, fights against Ocampo, Leonard Bundu. That word on the curve was that they had to pay Errol Spence Jr. very well in order to keep him. Because a lot of offers was coming his way. So you say to yourself, now that they're putting him on pay-per-view, are they attempting to recoup some of that money? I mean, of course, he'll make a good amount of money. I mean, doing pay per view, I'm sure. But are they looking to recoup some of that money? And is that the, that is that the plan that has to play out first before anything like that happens? 
But then again, they can recoup that money with Sean Porter, right? That actually would have probably been a pay-per-view fight as well. I don't really know because Sean Porter doesn't bring Mikey Garcia's Mexican fan base, but, you know, I don't know. As for Mikey Garcia, who sat out the ring for a little, little, nice little minute when he was going through his legal problems with top rank, finally breaks out of that contract. But ever since Mikey been back on the scene, he hasn't had like a big money, big name, big, I mean, he's had championship fights, don't get me wrong. But he hasn't had like this big money fight. And we know Mikey like that money, man. Mikey got a lot going on. So is this part of also the plan that was in the cards? And that's for the reason that Showtime Sean Porter couldn't secure the fight. And he knew this. And this, and this is what they were being told behind the scenes. I don't know. I don't know. But when I see Fox once again saying that we have designs on this fight, like it's already going to be, it's already going to happen. All Sean Porter has to do is get through your Danis, your Danis Ugas and keep the WBC. And then, yeah, full steam ahead towards the Keith Thurman fight. And it ain't the worst fight in the world. It's just not the, what the fans are desiring right now after what we seen when Sean Porter beat Danny Garcia and Earl Spence Jr. took over his whole house, took over the whole press conference. So is this part of the plan? That just stood out to me heavy, man. They say that this is all part of a design that they have with PBC. Like, it's already set up type thing. And if that is the case, if that is the case, then there is some validity to what Sean Porter and Kenny Porter have said. I'm just being honest. And these are the words of the article, man. I mean, these are not my words. But they already have designs on that fight. How long has the, has the, have these designs on that fight been in place? Have they been in place since Sean Porter took the title off of Danny Garcia? I mean, took, uh, beat Danny Garcia for the vacant title? Have they been in, in place since then? I mean, Keith Thurman has been screaming for this fight ever since he's been back. Everybody's sitting around having a staring contest of what Manny Pacquiao is going to do. I'm guessing that Manny, who's looking to come back sometime with early this spring, they'd like to get that fight. But I don't see Sean Porter being able to get that fight given he's fighting now. Keith Thurman would like to get that fight, then come back later on this year. I mean, is it? Is it? Is, I mean, that's what Keith Thurman would want. We don't know what's really going to happen when it's involving Manny Pacquiao. They're talking about he's going to be at the Spence and Earl fight. So there's some talks about maybe he'll challenge Earl. No one knows what Manny going to do. They're talking about he's negotiating with Mayweather behind the scenes. Manny all over the board right now, Joe. It's no telling. He got the whole division waiting on him. Everybody except Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> we'll see man we'll see how Fox Fox's designs on the fight plays out I'll be keeping my third eye on this situation but as of today listening to Sean Porter and Keith Thurman talking Keith Thurman gonna be commentating at their fight it just seems like to me the breadcrumbs are leading back to a Keith Thurman versus Sean Porter rematch we'll see as opposed to a Earl Spence Jr. Mikey well Earl Spence Jr. if Earl Spence Jr. gets through Mikey uh, Earl Spence and Sean Porter. So we'll see, man. But I don't know if this is going to be the fight that earns Sean Porter the respect that he wants. And I hate to see Sean Porter pop up at this fight, challenge Spence, knowing that that can't happen. But then, like I said, who knows? That's if Sean Porter's willing to fight three times this year. It can happen. It can happen. It'll be a big unification fight. We'll see, man. To the next video, Main Man Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe to Twitter, Made Man 511, Facebook, Main Man Made Man Boxing Forum, Instagram, Main Man Made Man. We'll see, Joe. We'll see. I just, I don't know, man. That just, that just stood out to me, man. And it should stood out, st stand out to a lot of y'all fight fans out there. We get pulled a lot of stuff, and it's rightfully so how he approached the Earl Spence Jr. situation. But if he's been told in one ear this is what's going to happen. Maybe this is the reason that Porter didn't want to get us all hyped up. Because he knew it wasn't going to happen. Because the powers that be has already made designs. To the next video, peace out.